I have with me a very special guest, of obviously Robin Wright, the co-founder of Pour La Femme, Karen Fowler, the designer uh, and co-founder of Pour La Femme, and Nicole Esselin, the founder of GiveWork. Thank you so much for joining us. I want to talk about Pour La Femme and really sort of grasp the understanding of it. Was, how did the idea come to fruition? Was there, was there a certain, was there a you know, eureka moment that you had about it? How did you arrive at the idea? Uh, Karen and I have known each other over 25 years. She is a fashion designer. We always dreamed of building the perfect pajama because we could never find something that was lightweight and breathed, breathable You're and sexy. And she's <laughs> donning the Congo, <laughs> the Congo pajama. Um, and then I was involved with this Raise Hope for Congo campaign, which mm. was trying to shine a light on the crisis that was going on in Congo with women who are used as a weapon of war there. And I wasn't getting any traction. And Karen said, why don't we make this pajama line, not only a sleepwear line, but a loungewear line, and make it a give back company. Mm. And we can help these women on the ground first in the Congo uh, who are in so desperate need of getting work. They right. wanted to work. They didn't want just handouts. Mm. So that was sort of the nucleus of this business. Why PJs, why them? Mm. It represents safety and security. And so we thought that was a nice parallel to That's nice. How do pajamas represent safety and security? How did you, did, is that something you feel both of you collectively? I feel like when you go to bed at night, you're your purest self. You wash the day off and you mm. get ready and we do all these nice things for our skin and things like that. And I think it's very important to sleep in nice pajamas. And I do think it represents us being safe in our homes. And I think that's a basic human right for every woman. Mm. And they don't have that. And they don't have that. That right there. As business partners um, in Pour La Femme, who does, who does what? I'm curious. Is, are, where, is there vision? Is there, who, I'm obviously, I'm, you're from the designing background, so I'm assuming you do that role. Well, we, we actually both design. Oh, okay. Um, I run the day-to-day -day business um, in Los Angeles, and then Robin and I, we have vision boards, and we meet up, and we decide what we want the brand to look like for the next season, and we, we design it together. And then Robin speaks around the world on behalf of Pour La Femme and the Give Work program, and and spread the word of the work and hopefully bringing more work to women. Is that, I'm assuming that's totally correct because why would you lie? <laughs> Nicole, I would so rest you if you were lying. Yeah. Nicole, I'm curious, knowing that you're obviously, you have a lot of work that you're doing with, you know, you're present in the Congo. Have yeah. you seen some of the benefit of Pour La Femme and has, has, has had specific influence um, in helping women there? Yes, I mean, um, Pour La Femme was saying that a pyjama represents comfort at home. Mm. And um, and a home is not something that the women in Congo can easily have. So when we give them work, the first thing they do is um, they buy a piece of land and they build a house, obviously with, with help and with, with support of the nations. But that gives them the comforts and the security they need. And once they have an, a home, they have that security for themselves and for their family and they can thrive. Did you start with any founding principles to allow you to arrive at a this wonderful company, did you sit there and say, I'm going to have these four things that are most critical to us? I mean, the first thing that you actually came up with is getting together what is the ethos? That yes, it's a, a sustainable brand and it's to bring sustainable life to these women again. Mm. Um, and it was about unification. Yes, women helping women, mm. hence Pour La Femme. But it was also this hashtag that we launched with, which was Together we dream bigger. Hmm. And we want to just expand on that concept, which is giving work. And Nicole came to us, so we started to, to gather reach. And she reached out to us and says, I have women that can build products that will run oh my. in parallel with what you're selling and what your brand represents. So we want to just expand on that. So the benefit, of course, for the Congolese women is they make the product they receive payment, obviously, for making the product. Do you want to describe the actual business model so that's so we, everyone understands it? Well, we actually, we have, our company was founded first. Right. That was the cake of our company. Right. And then we decided we wanted to, like Robin was saying, we wanted to reach out to women and to give work. And then Nicole found us. And so we kind of all married together. Um, we, we wanted to create a beautiful product first because when we have a beautiful product and we can have a vast reach, that, that's when we can help more women around the globe. Mm. So um, you're here at the, the Cannes uh, Creativity Festival. I'm, I'm curious, um, knowing the amount of brands that watch this show, is there anyone in particular that you would all 
care to sort of connect with while you're here or perhaps that you've started? I'm just curious because I know that brands are like, well, we should work with them. So, um, anyway. Well, I mean, that's why we're here and we're very grateful to be here to, to get to meet all of these different corporations. Um, we met with Facebook. We're eager to see what goes with that. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're really just interested in partnering with anyone, any brand that wants to support what we do, which mm. is a give work initiative. Mm. If you had a time machine um, and you wanted to go back and fix an error or something that you didn't make perfectly when you were designing the, the beginnings, is there something you'd want to change or tune? No, <laughs> I mean, I wish we didn't have the three years of it's hard work. It's, it's hard work starting a little bit. And that we were just this grassroots company. And, you know, it's, it's trying to garner the attention. I mean, mm -hmm. that takes a lot of work. So it would have been great to be like, can just, we just be this huge global brand and everybody understands the benefit of it, that it's giving women work and it's bringing economic opportunity to women in conflict regions? I think it's what's interesting to, you know, taking three years to come to here and now you're at the, you know, you're here at Cannes. And obviously, I, I've seen the schedule. Your guys are you're speaking in a lot of different places. Um, where do you see it going? If you're going to project out three years from now, where would you want to where would you want to be? Well, we want to expand to home and and children, uh, kids' clothes, and we want to be a, a lifestyle brand, still helping women around the world at the same time. You've played a lot of different roles in your life. Is there anyone in particular that you think this is perfect for Pour La Femme? I made Claire Underwood wear Pour La Femme. <laughs> the, the whole team. <laughs> she, you know. Much of, she, you're like, I, I'm in I'm playing for She was a little bit resistant because she only wears silk. Oh. So I made her put the cotton jammies on. <laughs> <laughs> At a certain how point in one of the. How did you convince her? She seems so I directed the episode, oh. so I put it in there. I have a great idea. She'd be wearing cotton this time. <laughs> she needs to change it. She needs to change it up. Come yeah. on. That's wonderful. We've heard, we talked about this a lot, and I'm positive people are going to want to look this up. Can you help them to know where to go? <laughs> yes, please. Yes. Go to plfdreams.com and check out all of our goodies. plfdreams.com. Wonderful. Thank you all for sitting with me in the hot seat. You guys did a great <laughs> job. I really appreciate it. This is great. I, it was very enjoyable for me. I learned a lot, and I'm so excited to, uh, to see how this goes and grows. Thank you. Thank you all for watching and tuning in.